you guys so today I just wanted to do another review for you guys so today's review is gonna be on Victoria's Secret makeup collection their beauty their beauty side I have been over time just collecting different things because I wanted to be able to say that I've tried the makeup and know the quality and things like that so yes the makeup is a little bit pricey but obviously it's high-end makeup you're gonna pay more um so yeah just keep in mind this has been <laughs> over probably since I started working there so since November that I've just been collecting this I'm gonna to try to give you guys prices as I can remember um, just so you are aware of that number one thing about the Victoria's Secret makeup that I recently discovered as you know I'm trying to go vegan and I didn't even think about this but part of the vegan lifestyle has to do with your makeup because a lot of makeup companies test on animals and I never thought that it was that big of a deal, but when you educate yourself, it's actually pretty sad. And why? Why? It's actually pretty sad to see the condition that these animals are kept, the reactions they get. It's, I mean, it's just, it's torture, and I don't know, I just can't stand it. So anyway, really exciting part about this makeup line is that Victoria's Secret is cruelty-free with their makeup. They do not test on animals. Thank you, Victoria's Secret. Please do not ever change that. Okay, so now let's move to face. First, let's just start with a primer. Um, so I have the Airbrush FX Illuminating Primer. This is just a little sample. Just so you know, if you've never tried primers, primers are going to feel like they are more oily because they all are silicone based. So if you find that and think that that's wrong, it's right. <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Um, I don't normally wear primers a whole lot, um, but I have been using this so I could get an honest review on this, and I really do can tell that, I really do, I really can tell the difference that it really does make your makeup last a lot longer. I normally don't put my makeup on until like right before I have to go to work or whatever event, and then, um, yeah, so I've been purposely using the primer in the morning and seeing if it lasts all day, and it does, and vice versa without the primer. Yeah, it's amazing. So, I got this BB cream. This was, I want to say probably 12. All of these range from about 12 to 16 dollars a piece. And yeah, so it's a tinted moisturizer. What tinted moisturizer is? It's a primer and SPF protection and hydrating. And as you all know, um, I am a freak about sun damage and things like that so I always like to keep some sort of SPF in my makeup just so I get 24 hour protection especially during the summer I hardly ever wear foundation in the summer just because I get so hot and sweaty anyway I just use BB creams um, in the BB cream I have the shade warm what is it warm medium it's actually pretty dark so this is gonna be my summer my summertime makeup for when I'm tanner okay so then on top of that, I like to use the Pressed Mineral Face Powder. I like to use Pressed Mineral Face Powders for the purpose of setting my foundation, for setting my BB cream, taking away the oil, and whatnot. So, it looks like this. I like pressed powders versus powder powders because I feel like you get more control. It's not so messy. It doesn't fly everywhere and things like that. And yeah, I have mine in the shade light 20 because I do like, I only put it on like my T-zone and like the highlights of my face. So I want it in a lighter shade just to get like that highlighting and contouring look and just soak up all those extra oils. Um, again, this one doesn't have the price on the packaging, but if I remember correctly, it's anywhere from 12 to 14. Actually, I think it might've been like 10. I can't remember. All right, next I have a bronzer. I have, this is in the shade glowing. So it looks like so. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is amazing. I have been using the e.l.f. bronzer for the longest time, and I absolutely loved it. But then I discovered this one, and oh my gosh, like I can't even. It's super light. It's not going to be too harsh. So it gives you that natural, that natural look. All right, what's next? Let's do... The VS Pro Magic FX Radiant Flash Brightening Cream. A lot to take in there, but this is another little sample bottle. Um, this stuff is amazing. It is a more of like a cream type. 
think it's more of a liquid. Just put it on right now. You want to just put it on like the highlights of your face, like so. So yeah, that stuff is amazing as well. Again, same price range. Um, this is just a sample, but I am going to be purchasing the bigger bottles of both the primer and the highlighter. Okay, so let's move on to eyes now. I only have two eye things. Um, like I said, I'm still collecting. I want, they have eyeliner, like they have a liquid eyeliner and a pencil eyeliner, and I didn't know that, and I'm super excited to try it. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. So first of all, I tried the mascara. They do have more high intensity mascaras. There's one for volume, there's one for length, there's one for both. This one is just the one you can get at like the cash wrap. Um, where all of the lip glosses are it's four or two for 15 or four for 20 deal And that's where the eyeliners and stuff are at too. So that's a really good deal for mascara in general You can get four of these for $20 like that's amazing um, So yeah, I find myself like I only use this now and I have it on right now I don't know if I can show you without looking up my nose but yeah, like it's seriously like just super long and luscious and thick. Um, I think feel like this one does both for length and volume. So lastly, I got an eye palette called Sultry. It's amazing, by the way. I got it because it has a green um, tone in it. So I, I think this one was 16, if I can remember correctly. Let me show you here like how stunning I love that it has it shows you like base crease it tells you right in the makeup of where you put it um, the pigmentation in these is just stunning um, this is that green crease color it almost goes on fairly gray looking though like, I don't know, it's amazing. Um, this base color is super stunning. I'll put, uh, I'm not wearing it on my eyes right now because I'm going to be doing a separate video on a different product line. I do have a picture of the makeup on and I will insert that in right about here. Super stunning, the quality is amazing, the pigments are amazing, and yeah, I really recommend. Obviously, spring is coming, so I'm gonna wanna be purchasing more spring colors, lighter colors, that this was just for a darker, sultry look. And that really is the outcome of this makeup. It's amazing. Okay, so I think that is all for my Victoria's Secret makeup review. I really highly recommend it. Like I said, it is a little bit more on the pricey side, but duh, if you go look at like MAC makeup and Too Faced and all of these other high-end makeup products, you're gonna be paying the same prices. So obviously this is more high-end makeup. You will get your money worth in it. It's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've been questioning the makeup, I hope this helped. And yeah, stay tuned. The next video I'm going to be doing is my review on some NYX cosmetics. I'm super excited. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss the videos. All my social media is in the description of this video. But follow me on Instagram because that is where I post most. At KristaCox3 for my fitness channel. Or my more makeup based and family is going to be KristaCox2. Okay? Okay. Bye guys.